Mafia 3 for the PlayStation 4. Now, this is the first Mafia game in the series that I'm playing, and I beat it moments ago, and here's what I thought. Now, going into this, I expected this to be another GTA-style open-world uh, action-adventure game, and that's exactly what this is. However, Mafia 3 takes its story into a world of its own. Now, you play as a guy named Lincoln Clay who just got back from the Vietnam War and has come home to New Bordeaux, Louisiana. Now, I thought you'd be playing as a member of the Mafia, and it's kind of the opposite in this sense. You do have your own group of people you work with. However, you're trying to bring down the Marcano family, who is like the lead mafioso within uh, New Bordeaux. Now, the game itself has a very cool story, a very fun story. You meet a lot of characters. You get to decide who runs each district, how they're going to upgrade uh, Lincoln, because um, once people start making a certain amount of money, you get upgrades off of that. However, if you give other people more districts than like each other and it's not dispersed, I guess equally, they do get mad, which is funny because you see the personality in that. Now, this game, as I expected, was like a GTA-style open-world game, and it works, except it's a little repetitive. And by repetitive, I mean, we're in GTA, it's just mission to mission, and each mission's kind of different. Uh, in this game, pretty much each, I guess you'd call them chapters, you're trying to kill one of the uh, Marcano family is like lead people, but to do it, you have to always either interrogate people, break enough things so the damage meter goes up to get that person's little under underboss to show up so you could face them. Now it's very akin uh, to the original Assassin's Creed in my mind, where you had to pickpocket and then like eavesdrop in order to face and assassinate the people you want to assassinate. That's kind of how this game plays. However, it's open world. It's a beautiful open world. It's not as big as Grand Theft Auto V. But there's a lot to see. There's side quests. Uh, Lincoln's character, you see how he develops from the beginning of the game, throughout the game. And you see how the people around him develop as they try to bring down the Marcano family. And the cutscenes themselves are kind of cool because they cut from like a modern day widescreen HD, uh, HD cutscene to like a 4x3 old school looking interrogation things for uh, your friend Donovan who's apparently like on testifying for the Supreme Court or something like that. It's interesting. Uh, the game plays fun. It's a little hard at points, but then again, I was playing on hard difficulties, so that's naturally expected. I picked this game up for 20 bucks at GameStop. Was it worth it? I definitely think so. It's a 50 gig install on the PlayStation 4 hard drive, which is a little high. I miss the days where um, games were played right off disc. I guess they do it now to save uh, disc drives from dying. It's whatever. Uh, excuse the background noise right now. My nephew, I guess, is out there playing. Um, but yeah, this game is developed by Hangar 13, published by 2K, which, if I'm not wrong, I think 2K is owned by Take-Two Interactive, uh, which in turn owns Rockstar also, which kind of shows how similar the formula is. Uh, the game, as I mentioned, isn't as in scope as Grand Theft Auto V. GTA V is still a beautiful world that has a lot more to be explored than this game. But this isn't a bad game. I've heard Mafia 1 and 2 are phenomenal. Fill me in if you guys have played those. I have never played those games before. This was the, excuse me, the first one in the series I've played. I did enjoy it. It was difficult at points. It was a little repetitive at points. But the story itself, not counting gameplay, the story is very intriguing. The story keeps you uh, tied in in depth. Uh, the choices you make depends. Kind of influences how the game plays out. You could either recruit people or kill them after you interrogate them and I'm pretty sure it all uh, comes into how you want to gain your money do you want long-term money or do you want to kill someone and get all the gratification there right now that's how this game has like its little decision makings um, overall like I said the store was really good the game played fine it was a little difficult at points uh, but you really kind of have to play stealthy, like if you were playing Metal Gear Solid at points, it's easier to get the kills, it's easier to uh, progress through areas that are a little more populated with enemies. Guys, um, do I recommend Mafia 3? If you can get it for 20 bucks like I did, definitely pick it up. It's definitely a, a fun game to play. Uh, if you're looking for an open world sandbox game that's a little akin to 1960s South America, not South America, but Southern America, North America, Southern United States. There's a lot of racism in this game. 
Uh, in the beginning of the game, they actually put a warning that they're not trying to be racist. They're just trying to depict it how it was at the time, which is cool. Um, there's a lot of historical references in the game uh, as to, I think, they talk about LBJ being president at the time, Nixon running, the assassination of MLK, and Bobby Kennedy. Um, it's cool for these references. The soundtrack is really old school for that time soundtrack of the 1960s. you got some Rolling Stones and a whole bunch of other bands that I know the songs, but I don't know the name of the bands. Sorry. Um, but definitely check this one out, guys. This is definitely worth uh, the playthrough at least once. It's very intriguing. The story is very charming. And yeah, definitely pick this one up. This is Mafia 3 for the PlayStation 4. Leave your comments below if you played this game before. Um, if not, let me know what you want to know. If you played the first two Mafia games, could you recommend those? Leave those in the comments below also. Um, which one do you think is the best in the series? What other games do you think I should review and check out? As always, thank you for watching. Until next time.